hey guys welcome back um just doing a quick video here today uh i haven't done really that much content i i got to a point where i just decided it's probably best for me to do what i can as far as youtube videos and not try to become um youtube famous um the the thing that i've been struggling with the most with my build lately is um if you follow me on instagram you probably you know notice a post i was very upset that um my braille 15 pound battery has started to sort of let go um it let me strand it twice um during a spend of a couple of days and i wanted to just go ahead and order the same battery again but i started to think you know it's it, it's, it's an expensive battery already and it only lasted me a year so why don't i you know hold my horses and try to get some information and and, and improve my situation because if i have to buy a, a, brand, a brand new battery every year that's that's not a, that's not ideal that's not what a daily driver is supposed to be like now one caveat to this the ninth gen is known for just overall draining batteries um i had this issue a while ago uh when i actually had the stock battery which was not a very old battery was i think it was okay but my whole point is um i had this kind of issue on a, on a full-size battery probably not as uh quickly you know i had this braille battery for about a year and the funny thing is it was great during the winter i would start up short drives in the cold no problem but um a few weeks ago it, it started acting up you know my car would start um, if you look behind me here um i keep the battery on a on a tender or whatever you want to call it um i did find out that if i don't have my flash pro plugged in all the time while the car is off i don't have this issue the car just starts up just fine you know um so it's possible that flash pro was draining the battery um i didn't really troubleshoot all that much i just said you know okay if a whatever you know like if a plus b equals c then therefore that's true whatever you know so but i did call braille i wanted to get more information and and talk to the manufacturer because i could go on the forums and i could ask questions i can go on facebook and ask a bunch of questions but in reality i need manufacturer data and i spoke to them um i spoke to a guy named, named gary and I am happy to hear that the company is based in the U.S. They're right there out of Florida, so that's cool. You know, it's, it's nice to be able to, like, talk to somebody in your own language. You know, the dude had a heavy accent, though. <laughs> you know, like, so that Southern Florida, Floridian accent, like, it's, it's, it's the truth. But long story short is, he told me, look, you, that battery isn't ideal for you being in Connecticut. Um, it'll work fine, but you know, and it, and it has plenty of cold crank and amps, but his, his thing is, you know, in an environment like Connecticut, New York, whatever, where it gets cold, um, a battery like that will deteriorate much quicker. So I know that lithium batteries are expensive and, and all that, but I say, you know, what maybe you know like already i'm spending money again on a battery because i didn't go the the correct way the first time and you know like i'm always like that's one of my themes in in building my car is that you know you want to do something and you don't want to have to do it again um just because you want to either save money or whatever the the case might have been um so i did ask him for a recommendation um there is there were two things i was like look i need it needs to work you know i need to get at least three years out of a battery uh two i already have i already bought a kind of an expensive case for the braille 15 pound battery that i currently have is there something that sort of fits that that'll work and his answer was yeah this here it's a braille g20 or something g, what is it g20 do, 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 do. yeah g20 um i weighed this it weighs like five pounds five pounds seven ounces they say it's four and a half pounds but 
whatever. Um, there are some warnings here. Uh, you can't jumpstart this battery, <laughs> which kind of sucks. Um, but I don't expect to have to jumpstart it um, all that much. And the other one is you have to use a special charger for it if you're going to charge it. So um, I do intend on keeping my old battery around and um, what am I going to say? And just use it. What's the word? As a backup because it's working. Um, just I'm doing this as a precaution to make sure that like shit doesn't die. But yeah, um, very cool. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's very short. Um, I will not do an install because it's, you know, I'm basically replacing the battery. I am glad that this one sort of fits in the same um, tray that I got. And uh, I don't know, I'm taking bets. What do you guys think? Is this battery gonna last me a year? Is it gonna last me two? What's the over under? Um, you guys take your pick. See you later.